it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about how I made the viral trending flipped mirror font, but I made it inside of Canva for sublimation, you guys. I'm going to do a whole nother video showing you how I put this on a journal notebook, okay? But let's just jump into how I made this design inside of Canva, y'all. And watch to the end so you can get all the tips. Let's jump into the video. Let go. All right, y'all. Let's get it. We are going to do this. This has been popping all over social media. So we're going to go ahead and do it. I figured it out and I'm going to try my hardest to teach you guys because this is something completely different for me. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, you are going to be in Canva. First off, in Canva, I am in Canva Pro. Okay, I do have a pro account. So under Canva Pro, we are going to go to a document size. I just did a, um, you can go to any size you want. I just did a 1080 by 1080 Instagram post, but you can make it however large or small you want. Just for demonstration purposes, I just use something simple and easy, 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, the Instagram post size, okay? You are going to scroll down to apps, okay? So inside of apps, there's an app called Type Craft. Now, it came up here because this is feature, and I'm thinking they know it's kind of popping right now, so it's in feature apps. But if not, you could go ahead and put in Type and then craft will pop up, okay? So once it pops up, this is kind of a learning curve where it was for me. So be patient with yourself, okay? I'm going to add a page on here and I am going to show you how I did it. It's always multiple ways to do something. Like I always say, multiple ways to skin a cat. So if you have another way, that's perfectly fine. But this is just how I was playing around with it. So first under Typecraft, it gives you the text. Whatever text you put here is what will populate under Edit Shape, okay? So you see it currently says Typecraft 123. Right here it says Typecraft 123. There's the font, Cheeto 123. There's a style. There's a color. Then there's the Edit Shape. You can reset your shape and you can add the elements to your design, which is here. So we're going to type out crafty okay that's what we're gonna do and I want it in all caps so cap all right crafty I personally do not like this font at all so I'm going to change the fonts okay y'all so I decided to go with Merv's gothic one two three and I think I kind of want a sharp edge font so that's why I decided to go with this even though typically I'm a bubble font girl anywho let's get to it so I don't know the technical names of this I just know how to do it so what I'm going to do is I am going to make this font a gray or white kind of color I'm going to make my background here on the design black we're going to just do black for right now we can change all of this stuff later okay so one thing that you do want to know when you go out of type craft, it does like kick you out and have you start over. All right. So that's something I did learn. So back to crafty. So be very, very aware of that. And I'm going to show you the kind of, um, the hack that I did to get away from there. So now we're back here. So let me show you what we had to do. Cause soon as you click out, it, it like drops you. So we're going to do like a white gray. It may not be, well, that's white, but it could have been white, gray, whatever. And you can change this color later. I'll show you how, et cetera. All right. So once we change the color there, it changed down on the edit shape. Now, like I said, I don't know what the technical correct um, verbiage is for this. So we're going to try our best. So what I did was these dots here, they manipulate the fonts. They edit the shapes of the fonts. So because we want this to look kind of like a V going inside, and that's the illusion that we're creating, I'm going to take the top right dot and bring this out to the right, okay? 
as you can see, this is shifting everything. So I'm bringing it out to the right because we're making a V shape. I'm going to take the top left dot and take it to the left. Now, any movement that you do changes these. So if you want it drastic, it could be drastic. It could turn. It's really a lot, right? So I'm going to reset it because I want it more straight at the bottom. I'm going to take the right, shift it to the right, take the left, shift it to the left, okay? If you go up, down, whatever, it changes everything. All right, so this is how I want to do the first one. I'm going to take the middle. The middle dots are weird, okay? Because if I move the second one, it goes weird. So we're going to move the middle dot. So I'm going to work on the ends and the middle dots mostly because each of these dots, and like I said, I don't have the correct verbiage, so forgive me, it manipulates it. And me playing around with it, I'm going to show you what I mean. So you see this? Like it can manipulate all types. That looks pretty cool, but it's just, it's very manipulative. So you want to be careful because for me, I want these to look really sharp. So this is how you can do all types of things with this font. Okay. So let's reset it. Let's get back to it. The top right, shift it to the right, the top left. Pull it to the left, and there we go. And then you can manipulate it however you want. I want the V to be kind of sharp. I'm moving the middle dots, then the side ones, because I want them to all be kind of crisp. I want my, my V to be really crisp, okay? And the great thing about creating is that you have free control with this to make it however you want it. So if we like it like that, let's press add element to design. So let's see you get the elements of the design and you're like, wait a second, I don't really like it. And you see when I click off the element, it resets it. So be aware of that. I have to click the element and now the element is there. If you want to make changes, this is how I do it. I duplicate it. And then I see which one I want. Because if you delete it, it completely starts you from scratch. And you can't manipulate that one anymore. If there's a way to do it, I have not figured that out yet. So here's the first crafty. And then I duplicated it. So if I want to make changes to it, then I can make changes to it. But I actually like it. All right. So we're going to go to the next step. That's the first crafty. We're going to go to the second crafty. I'm going to edit the second crafty for the next one. I'm going to pull out the Y to the right a little bit more. The C to the left a little bit more. And then I'm going to drag the C down to make it longer. Drag the middle down to make it longer. Because remember, we're creating that V shape. And you can create whichever shape you want, that's fine. Once I get it like how I like it, I'm selecting update element. But I'm making sure it's the second crafty that I'm updating. Okay? Because I want it's, this one to be shorter, this one to be longer. Now that I have that updated, I'm going to, let me change the background to a lighter color first. Okay. So we can see it better. We're going to add the effects and stuff later. So crafty. I'm going to take the second crafty. And if I don't like it, I can fix it. I think I want to pull that out a little bit. I might have dragged it too much now i'm going to update and look at the screen look right here when i press update so you can see the change happen see that all right so now i have the second crafty i'm gonna do the third crafty and then i'm gonna pull it out more because remember we're doing the effect of that v Okay, once you're satisfied with that, 
we just update the element so now we have three and we're going to duplicate it and we're going to do one more we're going to come to this one make it longer update element okay so c-r-a-f-t-y it look weird <laughs> that way so now what we're going to do is make them larger and you could always go and change it if you don't like something okay so now we have the crafty now something that i did notice is that certain colors look better that's just something i noticed i want to update this one i think this looks a little bit too too v-ish so i just fixed them how i like them and how i wanted them i made a few changes okay so now that i have them how i want them we are going to add this like blur effect so i'm gonna know do i want to change this one okay i still want to change this one a little bit y'all so now i have the four crafties and i can make them a little smaller I am going to go to elements and then I'm going to go to blur, but I'm going to show you how I got that one. The blur I use is a pro blur, but you can pick whichever blur you want, but I'm using this one because I can change the colors right here of this blur. Okay. So this is the blur that I'm going to be using. And then I can change the color if I want. So you see how I made it the color of the black ground? I made it the color of the background so that it could blur completely inside of there, okay? And if you want to see the size of the blur, just change your background color. All right, so I'm going to duplicate it. And then you can make the blurs bigger if you want to go over the whole word. And I'm going to show you what I had to do the whole bottom of the word. So I duplicated those and I'm putting them in between them, making them a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna make my background back my pink again, okay? So that's the look that I'm going for. Now, I wanna select I want these to be a little bit closer so that could kind of go like that, right? Let's look at our dreamer. You see how it's dreamer and they're like coming out against each other. Now this is where it got tricky for me. It's these layers. <laughs> these layers are what got tricky for me personally because I don't deal with layers. So I was so confused. So I'm going to scoot these up. And the layers, the blurs and the layers, I was going to I'm gonna delete them so I could start over. That's what's going to make them have that like effect. I'm moving this over. You see that magenta line to make sure they're all in the center. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my blur again. And this is one thing about designing. Sometimes you got to do something more than once. It's okay. So give your time, grace, and patience. Double clicking it. Dilute, uh, dilute, dilute. What the easy? Duplicating it. Now this don't look right because the layers and stuff are overlaying. So this doesn't look right. So what we're going to do is go to position. Under position, there is the layers column and this is what always tripped me up with photoshop layers kind of scare me i used to use gimp a long time ago before i got my mac because they didn't have mac for gimp gimp for mac they may have it now but they didn't have it before so this is where it gets tricky these layers when i hover over the layers it highlights on the screen so here is where it gets tricky this is my top 
crafty, but I want that to be at the back layer. This is my bottom crafty, but I want this at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight here and I'm going to bring that to the top. Oops, come on. Come to the top, baby. Okay. And I want with blur, this blur to be on top of that crafty. This is where it got confusing, but I think I figured it out. So this blur is the top layer. It's on top of my first, well, it's on top of the first crafty I made, but the bottom of the V, okay? My second crafty, where is that one at? Right here. I'm going to bring that layer up, okay? But I need the blur. You see how that's in the front now? I need the blur to be on top of this crafty. So I'm going to find that blur. You got to find the right one. This is that blur. I'm bringing that blur, you could do it this way too, on top of that crafty. Y'all see how what just happened there? It's giving a depth effect. Go back to positions, that's my bad. Then I'm going to go to the next crafty. Bring that up, right? And I need the correct blur to go on top of that. Y'all, I was, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how long I figured this out because I was so confused because I don't know how to do layers. And then we're going to do our last crafty. Bring that up. Bring that layer in front of it. Booyah. I cannot believe I did that, y'all. It took me the longest to figure this out. I was so confused. I didn't know where the layers were going, how they were overlapped. And then it shows you here which ones overlap. Okay. This is all the layers and this showing the ones that overlap. So this that one these are overlapping okay but these are all the layers you want to be under all the layers it took me maybe a, maybe an hour i'm not sure but it took me a minute so this is the first blur and you don't have to do blurs some people don't do blurs but i like the way that it looks it gives like a depth effect this the first crafty at the bottom starting from the bottom the next blur, the next crafty, the next blur, the next crafty. You see how I did that? Good, because I was confused up before. I am going to select all of these and I am going to, um, so you can't group it. You see, there's no option for group. Group is not an option here. So that's something that I had to figure out too. I was like, why is it not grouping? So what I had to do was if you select them all, you can download the selection by itself. So we're going to hack the group for this. For some reason, I don't know why it's not letting you group. Um, It's only letting you group little ones it's like those. So I don't know why it's letting you do that. Let me undo that. I should not have done that because I deleted a blur. I figured it out later and fixed it though. Okay. So once again, we're back on selecting everything. Once I have it all selected, I'm right clicking it. I'm going to download the selection. And you see how it is there? I'm going to download it with a transparent background. Press download. All right. And then I'm going to upload that. I just dragged and dropped it here. Okay, I uploaded it back into my designs. I'm going to add a new page because I'm not messing with that one right now. If I want to make changes or change colors, I could go back to that in the um, app and change it. So now that I have that as a PNG with a transparent background and the correct layers, I'm going to select it. Oh, it didn't take one of the layers. It deleted one of my layers. See, it's always some stuff in the game. When I tried to do that group, it messed it up. So let's go back. I'm just pressing back. Now it's back to where it's all of them have that blur. You see how a difference that blur make? So let's do it again. I'm selecting. I'm right clicking. Download selection. Transparent background. You have to have a transparent background. It's going to have that pink. I'm pressing download. Once that download, I'm dragging, dropping it inside of Canva. I'm making a new page. 
I duplicated it. Well, not duplicated. I made it. I added a page. I'm going to take the selection and then I am going to make it a little bit larger. Once I have it the size that I want it, I'm making sure it's in the middle of my screen. And what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate it. I duplicated it. I'm going to go to flip and I'm going to flip vertically. Okay. I'm pulling it down, flipping vertically, and I'm making it kind of mirror each other. Just a little bit of space. Oh, that look cute, right? Bam. So now we did crafty and you can leave it like that. I'm going, I can select these two and I can group them because they are actually PNG images. So now we have crafty. If you didn't like the way these line up, you can change it. Certain words look better. I'm just going to be honest. Certain words look better. Certain letters, certain fonts look better. Okay. So dreamer crafty. And then I'm going to just go ahead and add an image. This is the image that I created. The black girl by itself is um, available on my Etsy shop. And then I just use these elements from Canva a while ago. And I'm going to put her in the middle. Okay. So you could do it with the photo or you could do it without a photo. That by itself look a little bit better. So let's see. Let me find the girl without all the extras. One second. Okay. So this is my girl that you can get on Etsy if you want. And I just put her on there. Or like I said, you could do it with all of the stuff on there. All the extras. You can duplicate it. Just have the words. Let's see, where's some of my clip art? You could put a picture of yourself on there. Oh, that's cute. Okay, okay, okay. You could do all types of things, okay? So I'm going to fast forward this part, but I was just playing around with it. And I was like, oh, let me use my logo. So I removed the background and that shadow face was still there. So I just erased everything. And I think I'm going to like the way that this one looks. Now that's the one. Oh, that's so cute. And if I want, you can make this bigger. Oh, that is adorable. I like that. I knew I was going to find one I like. Now, that's the one I like. Oh, my goodness. Don't like that. Cool. All right. I love this one. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And what I'm going to do is I am going to... You can make it smaller so you can see that it's at Crafty. So this part, I literally was just playing around with it. I added logos, things on the shirts, words, etc., just to get it how I liked it. This one is the one I like the most. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and resize this in inches. The width was about 5.5. Six ish, so I'm gonna put 5.75. The height was like 8.2, so I'm put 8.35. Okay, I'm going to resize it, open a design. Okay, so I deleted what I didn't need and then I made sure that it will fit correctly onto the notebook. So I had to show you how the notebook turned out, it's so cute, colors are popping, but I'm going to make another quick video just to show you all the details of how I did this because this video is kind of long, okay? So stay tuned to that. I'll leave it down in the description once I have it uploaded, but that's a wrap.
please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You here? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.